Hey everyone, this is Zori here, back with another episode of Pokemon Stadium. And this by far, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite part of these games, is the Gym Leader Castle. And really, for me, what makes the Gym Leader Castle so special is because you obviously get to battle the Gym Leaders. And to me, they just have a lot more personality, and they're a lot more identifiable than uh, just the normal Joe Blow trainers that you face in the stadium mode. Um, so we're gonna get started with Peter Jim. And you'll see that Brock is gonna be um, the final trainer in the Peter Jim castle. So I heard this on another Let's Play, but apparently the way in which the trainers are decided is based upon how they're set up in red, blue, and yellow. So if you're familiar with red, blue, and yellow, on the way to the pewter gym you're going to be fighting a lot of bug boys and they call them youngsters in the Game Boy games and junior male trainers so that's why and how they have them set up here as well not to mention as you guys can see we have to do four battles in a row to get the badge but we have to be careful because there's no continues in gym leader castle so regardless of whether you hit a perfect or not on the way up to the gym leader anytime you lose you have to start all the way back from the first trainer so keep that in mind as you're playing through this for yourself so without further ado I'm gonna choose my team and then we're gonna get started with the pewter gym all right guys we've got our team to take on the pewter gym so without further ado let's get started oh man I'm super excited for this I love gym leader castle Peter Jim Battle Trainer 1. We've got the Bug Boy. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any... We do have Fire Blast for uh, Marowak, but gosh, it's special is not good. Um, in fact, I think I'm better off starting with Squirtle and then Marowak. Um... And the Bug Boy has like the full evolution sets of both Caterpie and Weedle here. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think last but not least, we can go for um, Chansey. And Chansey has Ice Beam in Gym Leader Castle, which I've never seen before. This is going to be great. Alright. So what we're going to do here is we'll go for Surf. Ooh, Squirtle's slower than Weedle. That's pathetic. I love Squirtle, but that's awful. It's a poison sting. Ooh, that's going to take two more Surfs. Um, let's go for Blizzard instead. String shot, that'll slow me down speed wise. And then we'll go for Blizzard. Aw, oh, come on, Squirtle. This is a Weedle. Why are you struggling so badly with this thing? Let's go for Seismic Toss. Critical hit. Still, that won't do too much. Do one more seismic toss. What now? There, it's a hit. Boom. Good hit. Good. Oh, is it down and out? We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Who's next? Beedrill. Oh, and I'm not worried about, again, getting continues, oh, so if we need to sacrifice a Pokemon to give ourselves a better competitive advantage, that's what we're going to have to do. Um, Hyper Beam. Ooh. Ooh, we do survive, and Beedrill's going to have to recharge as well. 
so we will get two free shots. What will it do? Yeah, it's a hit. Yeah, that blizzard's what so weak. Um. Yeah, we can set up the next Pokemon. And I don't really need to save Squirtle for any of the other bug types after this. I think we're good. It did a nice job. And again, it's going to have to recharge. Regardless of whether it hits or misses um, in this game, it's going to have to recharge. Now, even more interestingly, in Stadium 2, if you miss Hyper Beam, you can just fire it off again right away. Um, so that's one mechanic that they changed in Gen 2. I could go for Boomerang, but I think the right move here is Fire Blast. And Marowak's slow too. So we also have to factor that into account as well. Boom. Awesome. Marowak and Cubone can use fire and ice type moves. That's that's crazy. Crazy type coverage. I just wish the special was a little bit better for those Pokemon, however. To really take full advantage. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The We're gonna go for another Fire Blast. And Kakuna's faster than Marowak. Poison. Ooh! There we go. One more uh, Fire Blast is gonna do it. What now? It's literally taking off 1 HP, and the burn is actually doing more damage to itself than what it's doing with Poison Sting at this point. Um, I just w wish we would have hit that and ended the match. I might go for Thrash the next time this misses, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. That'll do it for battle one. Awesome. Alright, three more on the road to the boulder badge. Let's go, team. I knew I didn't want to necessarily use Shansi here, especially against Beedrill. And he actually used the full Weedle Evolution line here, by the way. Um, because Chansey has such terrible defense. In fact, it's borderline non-existent at this point, one could argue. And having to take on that hyper beam, there would have been no chance. Okay, the lad. So five out of six are poison types, and we have Boomerang. Um, the problem is we're a ground type, and we're weak to we're weak to um, grass. Three of these are gra or four of these are grass. So what I want to do is. I want to start off with Dratini, and I want to have Marowak in, and then we'll go for Chansey. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm to earn victory. Ooh, that's a beautiful color on Bulbasaur, by the way. Um, it almost looks like the shiny. But it's not because shinies didn't exist in Gen 1, but it's pretty close. Whoa! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Mega Drain, so it's gonna try to heal some HP back. What will the trainer do now? Good thing Dragon resists grass. Yeah, so it's not gonna do very the much there. In this oh man, I could have gone for Dragon Rage, but it's got too much HP for that, so we'll go for Blizzard. No, it is. There we go. Unfortunately, we only have 5 PP on Blizzard, so we had to make the last 3 count. That defeat means a Pokemon 
Gloom. So it's probably going to try to use Stun Spore, so I want to slow it down with Thunder Wave. That way we can still at least keep our speed advantage. Oh, it's going for Absorb. Okay. I'll keep doing that, you hear? Um, I want to save on Power Points for Blizzard, so we're just going to go for Body Slam for right now. Ooh, that didn't do too much. I think we're better off doing Dragon Rage for a couple of turns. And then we can probably use the last Blizzard on the last Pokemon. What now? If it's going to keep absorbing us, then... What's next? It's not very effective. Both combat right. still have plenty of gas left. What's this? A decent hit! Absorb. I wish it wouldn't move right there, because that would have put us at exactly 40 HP to knock it out. With Dragon Rage. Um, let's go for Blizzard. I want to get rid of it. I'm tired of looking at it. Alright, Jatini, get rid of it. Yes. Awesome. Here we go. Alright. Oddish. So again, I don't want to lose my speed advantage, so we're going to Thunder Wave this down as well. We do have Body Slam and Thunder Wave on Jatini, which is kind of redundant, since both of them cause paralysis. But at least Body Slam actually does damage when it does it. Uh, so overall, not too bad. Now we can go for our last two blizzards. We're fine. There it goes. Wow, that's an effective hit. Ooh, that's beautiful. Unfortunately, these Pokemon didn't get fully paralyzed at all off of Thunder Wave, but since they're so easy, it's not going to matter too much. There we go. Yes. That'll do it for Battle 2. Awesome. We swept Battle 2, in fact. And there goes the battle! Alright, junior, junior Trainer, what you got? Oh, okay. So he's got Diglett and Dugtrio. So four of these are going to be ground types, and the other two are flying. So we're going to go for Vaporeon because we've at least got Aurora Beam. We can go for Squirtle and um, well, actually, I want to give Chansey a shot. I've never seen Chansey being used in Gym Leader Castle before. I'm sure there's reasons for that, but I want to give Chansey a shot, and then Squirtle and then Vaporeon. It's the gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. I've had it in the lineup for the last two matches, but never had to use it. Well, let's use it this time. Um, it might explode, but since I have a high special, I could go for um, Ice Beam right away, but I think the right move is to get a Reflect up. His, his defense is so terrible. Yep, it's going to go for Explosion. Yes, yes, awesome. Awesome. This is a wild one from the word go. I definitely had to telegraph that because I knew it was going to go for Explosion. I just had a feeling that it was going to go for Explosion and it did. Um, let's go for Ice Beam here. 
the air. What now? There, it's a hit. What's that? No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Yes, one shot. Gone! It's a one-hit wonder. All right, Chansey's showing her stuff out There's there. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. That's awesome. And Diglett. Oh, it's Diglett! Diglett's going to be a little bit more challenging because of its speed. The battle has become one side. Slash. Hit the weak spot. Slash has no consideration oh, for any sort of defense buffs, so I got our chancy there. What will the next Pokemon be? Um, let's put Squirtle in. I want to save Vaporeon for last. I don't think we'll need it, but... It's nice to have that bulk in reserve just in case. We'll go for Sir for the same type of tap bonus. I go for Earthquake. Ooh, that'll take two more of those to knock Squirtle out. So it's not going to have any chance against Vaporeon. For sure. Awesome. That'll do it. Alright, Brock, we're coming for you. I hope you're ready. We're coming for your boulder badge. Big Daddy. Alright, we just have Brock that's left. That stands between us and the boulder badge. Yeah, he's got an impressive looking team. He's got his Onyx, his Vulpix. He's got a Geodude in the anime, but it's a Graveler here. He's got a Cubone, and he's got both fossils. So he's got an impressive looking team. Um, what I want to do, because Jatini's pretty fast, so... But... Um, I have a feeling he's going to start with the fossils. So I'm going to put Weeping Bell in to start, because we have Razor Leaf, and that's like a huge critical hit chance. Um, I want to put Chansey in. It's a risk because it's got low uh, defense, but we have Reflect. And then we'll have Vaporeon. Look at that special, 138. And then Chansey's special is 133 with Ice Beam. I don't see us having any problems in this match. The next battle is against Pewter Gym Leader, Rock. How will the challenger battle Brock, Brock RT? Alright, so he starts with Onyx. And Onyx is pretty speedy, but his attack stat sucks. Which is not what you expect from a Pokemon that's a 30 foot snake made of rocks, but hey. Alright, he can't move. Um, I kind of wish we had Stun Spore. But. Yeah, all these are kind of slow compared to Onyx. He's gonna switch out. He's gonna switch to Vulpix. He's gonna switch to Vulpix. There we go. Thankfully, we got coverage to deal with that. It's kind of garbage. We don't get to attack. Um, we were about to hit it with Razor Leaf, but then the game forces us to choose our attack instead. Flamethrower. We're pure water type, so we should tank this pretty easily. Excellent. So I anticipate being slower, so we'll go for Sir. Fire Spin. Oh, he's got those moves that keep you in place. Oh man, this is going to be brutal. So we're going to have to rely on him missing. I probably should have sent Dratini in to do Thunder Wave, but it wouldn't have done anything on Onyx. Yeah, we have to do this every time until it misses. What's that? Here's a light shot. 
Alright, um... What's our other Pokemon? Neither one is distinguishing an ape! I'm gonna switch to Chansey. Go into battle pose. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's Chansey! How will this one um, affect the outcome? We could use double edge, but our attack stat is not good. So we can freeze fire types in Gen 1. Okay, it's gonna go for fire spin. Gosh, man, our team is so slow. We're gonna have to rely on him missing. Um, our team is just so slow. They strike fighting poses. The attack is still continuing. A minor hit. Sparks are flying in this heated match. The attack still going on. What now? There's a little damage. Fire spin's accuracy really isn't all that good, so. The intense battle. Continues. Eventually, it's gonna miss. Really, just need one, one surf to knock each of these Pokemon out. What's that? That was weak. Oh, come on, Vaporeon, dodge it. It can't make a move. Neither one is succeeding an inch. The attack is still continuing. What will it do? A light hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. The attack still going on. What now? Here's a light shot. What a furious battle. The commands are issued. What's this? The attack wasn't effective. Well, let's go for quick attack. Nope. Even quick attack doesn't work. Yes, it missed. Finally. Eventually it's gonna miss. You need to knock this out, please. Yes, awesome. Awesome. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. He's gonna send Onyx back out. And we're going to have to go through the same crap with Bind. What now? A light hit! It can't make 
Alright, I'm gonna switch to Chansey. My hope is that Brock will go for a move other than Bind. Um, to try to... I want to try to butter him up intentionally with bad defense so that he'll go for a move other, other than Bind. But he's not taking the bait, apparently. He missed! Yes! Again, Chansey, you need to knock this out. Got a 130 special. You have no excuse. Yes! Got him. Awesome. There's a difference in the number of preserved Pokemon. Dude, Chansey's doing well. And then Cubone. Oh, it's Cubone! The remaining Pokemon Let's put up a reflect. Cubone's pretty the slow too. So we can put up a reflect. Submission. That's gonna hurt. He misses. Awesome. Alright, let's go for Ice Beam. Again, we're not worried about continues. But. Cubone's got bad special. Chansey, you rock! Awesome! Yes! Chansey, awesome! Yes! Whew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We actually got the clean sweep on Brock, despite all the crap that we had to go through with Fire Spin and Bind. Um, we got the clean sweep on Brock, and Chansey was amazing. Yeah, Chansey did a super job. Received the key from Brock with that victory, and opened Misty's Tower. And that's the episode that we're going to be doing next time at the Cerulean Gym. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thankfully these episodes aren't going to take quite as long. Or they shouldn't take quite as long as the stadiums. Because you only have half the amount of battles to go through for each one. And that's how I'm going to break them up. Um, so be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at Zori Gaming. That's Z-O-R-R-I-E-G-A-M-I-N-G. You can also leave your feedback for me there and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, but until next time, party people, this is your host, Zori, signing out. You guys take care and you have a good night.